Well, new at 11, a gruesome discovery Sunday night at Golden Gate Park is tonight a painful end for a mother and her ailing daughter. That body, found in a duffel bag, is a Bay Area woman who grew up in the East Bay, but who her mother says lost her way to drugs and homelessness in the city. NBC Bears' Tom Jensen talked to Kelly Koke's mother as she tries to wrestle with how her daughter died. I don't think it's a hate crime. I do know she would go to extreme from, from nothing all of a sudden. I think that's most likely what happened. Roya Koke says she's still numb after getting the call from the medical examiner this morning. And yesterday, they find your daughter in duffel bag, a, a dog walker find her. Roya says the medical examiner told her there was no blood or immediate indication of what caused Kelly's death, just that she was in a duffel bag and had no clothing below her waist. She was beautiful. Was, I can't believe it, it was. <sighs> but inside her daughter's beautiful exterior, Roya says Kelly was tormented by schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and more. Celebrate birthdays, that's when we were the happier years. Kelly resisted medication and treatment, Roya says, and for the past four years, she's lived on the streets of San Francisco, mostly right outside the courthouse for convenience because she was often in trouble with the law. She has a messed up, messed up here. But she got killed. Roya said she hopes to learn more when the medical examiner finishes a full autopsy. For now, she just wants to mourn her daughter's death and urge for more mandatory mental health care for the unhoused who suffer from severe cases and multiple disorders like her daughter. But again, if you don't want to participate, you don't think there's something wrong with you, then you can hold up. In San Francisco, Tom Jensen, NBC, Bay Area News.